Footage of a drone attack on an oil depot in Tuaps, Russia this morning. The drones attacked the city in several waves. The Ministry of Emergency Situations reported that, as a result of falling debris, the infrastructure of the Tuaps refinery was damaged. The local operational headquarters reported that rescuers were extinguishing a fire on an area of 50 square meters. Russian telegram channels also report a drone attack on Morozovsk, Rostov region of Russia. A military airfield is located there. Locals reported seeing drones flying, then smoke rising. According to them, a fuel tank could have been hit. Su-24, Su-24M and Su-34 aircraft are stationed at the airfield. They are used to attack Ukraine. Зря сильно горит. Точно, это, это тоже на ГСМ на по нулю, бля. Сейчас не вижу, вот она идет. Вот. Вот так вот. Вот он идет. Ушел. Пошел, 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 пошел. Еще один. Вот они атаки идут. Все. Еще идет. Вот они. Восьмой. Представляешь? Russian propaganda continues to actively promote the idea of meat assaults on motorcycles. The only complaint is that they started too late, as in when a large number of proper combat vehicles have already been burned. The 5th Donetsk Brigade founded its combat motor school. There are a lot of odd things in our military community. First, the motorcycle school is real. Here's a video filmed the other day. Second, the military oddity is that the combat profession already exists, and the military registration specialty is only planned to be introduced, and DOSAF training for motorcycle fighters will begin only on October 1st, at least by winter. Do you want a disgusting joke? In the famous, without the slightest irony now, Ryazan Airborne School, there has long been an existing and operating stable and there are horses in it. And cadets are taught to ride them. Why the fuck now fuck, for what? In case the Battle of Borodino begins, when will the brains start working for those who should have them? We invented full-time drone operators in the Russian army at a time when the first drones operators of the armed forces of Ukraine had long since retired. Why is that so? Yes, and back to the positive. The 5th Brigade and its motorcycle school are awesome. By the way, in many other brigades, this issue is at the forefront. Ukrainian servicemen from the 24th Brigade are not at all shaken by an RPG hitting their trench, so long as it's not a Fab 500, otherwise they'd have to explain why they were missing for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Ukrainian infantry reported that Russians were gathering forces in a basement for a future assault. Pilots from the 47th Brigade Strike Drone Company quickly responded by sending four kilograms of explosives to the location. The door is now shut.
Russia. In Yekaterinburg, the entire fleet of around 70 delivery drivers for Ozon, a Russian Amazon ripoff, went on strike due to slave-like working conditions. They have 16-hour workdays, and they're paid two rubles, 0.02 dollars per package, which can weigh as much as 66 pounds. And for the end, footage was released earlier today showing air-to-surface missiles launched by F-15 and F-35s of the Israeli Air Force, striking several cargo cranes at the port of al Hudaida during yesterday's retaliatory strike against the Houthi militant group in western Yemen. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.